what is up guys madman 12 here and today i'm going to be doing an unboxing of something that i got in the mailbox yesterday so this came in and i'm going to be opening it finally i was able to get it i'm really amped about that so let's get this open okay so the box is open and let's throw the box on the ground remove it from the bubble wrap and I was finally able to get my hands on a brand new sealed police quest in pursuit of Deaf Angel and I've been trying to get this game for a long time you can see right there IBM Tandy and MS DOS compatible Super EGA CGA and Hercules graphic cards hard disk joystick optional 3.5 and 5 and a quarter and here's the side and this is one of my most favorite games I ended up playing this game my first time because my uncle ended up getting a computer that uh, show the back and my uncle got me a computer that was able uh, to play the police quest actually he found a bunch of floppy disks one day and the game wasn't original of course it was on a floppy disk with all these disks that he had gotten and um, I was like really blown away by the graphics and like I said the game is really good because it's a game where it's not just like you have to you know point and click here point and click there not that there's nothing wrong with the point and click games I really do enjoy them a lot and I think they are great and the same thing with police quests even in a game like this you can get stuck um, but it's all about typing certain things like for you to get an item or check somewhere or you know or you wanna find something out you know you gotta like type and that really does help the person a lot in the sense of you know trying to figure the game out and this game again like I said this has been something I've been hunting for for a long time I was able to get myself a used copy literally about a week before this one showed up and the used copy doesn't have the slip case because this is like a slip case so I'm gonna be showing that right now so you can see right here on the left, this is what it will look like when you remove the Police Quest slipcase. And you can see right here, it's a little bit yellow, but going around it, once you remove the Police Quest slipcase, the box looks like this. And there's nothing here on the sides, or the top, or the bottom, or the back. It just practically shows like mountains and trees and stuff like that. So. Once you open it up, you've got your three and a half inch discs, floppy disks, disc one and disc two. And these are also known as hard disks. And then you got your five and a quarters, disc one, disc two, and disc three. Then it says here, Police Quest Game Backup. I guess either somebody had made an extra copy of the game or this might be some saved games in here. So looking at this little catalog, this is really cool. It says 1988 and then it says we're out to make software history by Sierra. And Sierra was really a large, huge company back around this time. And this is a really awesome pamphlet here in the front because you could already see the CD age and you can see where the information has been written. So this was already done in 1988, you can imagine that. So opening it up, you got some cool pamphlets here. I mean, some cool um, images of different games. And you have here Roberta Williams with her husband. She was the one that made the, uh, the, uh, the King's Quest and her husband really helped her. You can actually check that out in a documentary called High Score on Netflix. And changing it again, 
you can see this was like one of the games that she first started on in 1980 it wasn't much but later on the games became better and better and you can see right here she did King's Quest and this is really cool because you don't even see things like this anymore so checking it out going to the next page I mean this is really awesome there she is right there again and you can see her King's Quest releases and these have become pretty rare right now to kind of get and the graphics yeah they may seem laughable now but during that period of time I mean that's just how it was here we got Space Quest that wasn't done by her that was done by somebody else I think is these two guys right here I've never played Space Quest but I would like to get my hands on it and to the left you have the land this is the land of the lounge lizards I guess this is Larry Larry something whatever it is leisure suit Larry never played this game neither and the graphics they all kind of resemble police quest and here we have police quest done by Jim Walls which he was a real police officer and again this game police quest I played it so many times I mean I fell in love with the game I used to play the game with my sister my brother and my mom we were just all into the game I mean I don't know whatever happened to the floppy disks but they kind of just I guess either went to the trash or I mean I don't know I can't even really remember so then it says the ordering information then you have more stuff right here black and white photos wow look at this win a radio controlled helicopter what will later become a drone insane this is a cool pamphlet man really cool you don't see things like this anymore so moving on you get a, a map of police quests which is in the game the map is pretty huge so I'm not gonna open it up all the way but I'll show another piece of it that way you guys can get an idea and this really does help you out I didn't have none of this no maps no nothing and here we have a, a book Lighten Police Department and I guess this is like the instruction manual tell you about different levels radio calls again I knew about this just playing it you know with my brother my sister my mom and it was just crazy because I actually ended up getting stuck and there was some saved games on that old floppy disk that my that my uncle had found and the reason again I had played the game was because of my uncle so I really do appreciate the fact I came across this game this is a really amazing game then there's a part I guess where you play poker and it's supposed to show you how to play right now this game has become pretty rare especially brand new and sealed like the way I got it it's gonna be rough to find a game like that someone did have one I would say maybe like nine months back but they really wanted about five hundred dollars for the game but again for my hunt I'm really happy that I was able to get this so many wonderful memories of playing this game if you've never played police quests make sure that you end up finding it somehow and playing it I mean this game is really fun they actually have the VGA remake which is pretty cool I have that in the police quest collection and I'm gonna be showing that right now so here is the police quest collection it says step behind the badge I bought this in 2010 you get four games so it says special limited edition with four products in one box looking at the sides so looking at the back and this is the VGA I believe this is this is the third police quest in that screenshot you can see the graphics have been 
way more improved this is the point and click version and I believe right here on top that's police quest 4 I actually had that game in my hand a couple of years back um, this was when it was still popular and it was like really being sold in computer stores so this is really cool and this comes with I believe it's two I think it's two discs it comes with I believe it's two discs might be wrong but let's see so pretty much you just get these read the following crap whatever and okay so it's just one disc and that's pretty much it so this one has the first police quest but it's not that version of the original one so you get the remake which is the VGA version nothing wrong with it it's pretty much the same game but the graphics are pretty cool and they're way more updated but again playing something like this with the graphics like this just brings back so many memories and I remember when I first played it I didn't even have like EGA graphics I had CGA which still looked good but after seeing what EGA looks like I was like nah I gotta play it in EGA so that's gonna be it for my non unboxing of police quest in pursuit of death angel for MS DOS I hope you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up like comment share subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace